Hi everyone, I am Sahil Pulikal and in this video I am going to show you how you as a class teacher or class representative can take attendance of online lectures using Google Sheet. So let's get started. First of all you will have to click on the link given in the description and it will open a page like this. Then you will have to click on make a copy and this will make a copy of attendance format that I have created. So as you can see here are the list of students so you will have to add the student names of your class then you will have to add the subject name teacher name class name as well as your lecture date and timing then you will have two options either you can add you the teacher can add the attendance manually by roll call or the second option is that you can share this sheet to the students so that the students will be able to add their attendance on their own this will save a lot of time but also the students will be able to add the attendance of their previous lecture so to avoid this problem i have come up with a solution to log the entire column after the lecture after a certain period of time let's say after one hour of lecture you the teacher or the class representative of the class will have to click on tools and then click on protect sheet so here i have selected the entire c column so in the range you can see entire c column is selected then set then click on set permissions then as you can see you will have to uh, enter only you so that only you the teacher will be able to edit the entire c column when you click on done then you can see that only the teacher will be able to edit this entire column so this will ensure that the students won't be able to edit their previous lecture attendance so now if you are adding the attendance of students manually then you will have to enter p for present as you can see a suggestion is coming up this suggestion is being provided from this sheet the attendance key sheet over here and as you can see here the p is present that means this p is being referenced to this sheet so if you want to customize this sheet even further you can add l over here for late attendance to add this then if you click over here then you can see that l is coming here that means you can add late attendance also if you are if your requirement is that so for now i am clearing this l One more thing is that after adding P, you can see that the student one's attendance has been marked as present, and therefore we can see one over here. And if I add more present, present, so now total three students have entered present. So if we go below we can see that the total students present in this lecture of 1st july is 3 in this way the attendance is automatically counted over here and if we keep a student attendance as blank that means that the student was absent so therefore if you see over here for student 2 present lectures are zero because we have not marked p for student 2 also if i uh, add anything else than p for example i add t then it will show invalid 
why because i have added data validation in this cell so if i select the entire cell and then click on data and then data validation then i have set a warning that it will show a warning that this data is invalid you can also reject the input so that students won't be able to add anything else other than p and if i click on save then you can see that uh, if i add anything else like if i am adding b and clicking enter then we can see that there was a problem the data entered violates the data validation rules set on this cell the so student won't be able to enter anything else so now coming to the sharing part of this document if you the teacher will be sharing this sheet how you will be sharing the sheet by clicking on this share button and we click on this share button if you are having the email id of all the students then you can copy the email id of all the students and then paste it over here and then unselect notify people if you don't want to notify each and every student and set it as editor so that students will be able to edit this sheet and then click on share so now the students will be able to share uh, will be able to edit this sheet and after this you can click on copy link and then share this link to the students so that the students will be able to edit this document after that you will be able to see here all the students who are online and editing the document and this google sheet has a feature by uh, when we will right click on any cell we can see the edit history for example in this sheet i had deleted t in this cell previous edit also i can see that i have added in this cell t at this time and at this date so everything in this sheet is being recorded so students if they add anything else or if they change any other attendance of any other students then everything is being recorded in this google sheet so you the teacher will not have to worry whether students are making any unwanted changes and if you click on this open version history uh, if you click on this then we can see the version history that means who all are editing this document also if you don't have email id of all the students and then uh, but you you have a g suite account a domain id of your college that is a g suite account then you can go to that account and then you can select anyone at your college can edit this document so you don't have to manually enter every student's email id so in this way you can take attendance online using google sheets also after you are done customizing this then you can right click on this and then you can hide sheet so that hidden sheet will be present over here also after a month you can protect sheet and uh, select the whole sheet by clicking over here that means if i want to lock the july sheet then i will click on this july and then set permissions so that only you the teacher will be able to edit the july sheet and then click on done so that july sheet will be protected then you can after a month you can create a copy 
of this sheet by clicking on duplicate and then for august also you can take attendance so for example i am adding august 2020 and then you can move this sheet in the front first sheet and then you can change the date over here for example for first august and in this way you can take attendance using google sheets thank you for watching and if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section below and i'll surely reply to your comment thanks for watching thank you